hello everyone today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from miniard it's a kit and 135 scale obviously but we get a quite interesting combo i would say because you can notice that this is a type 170v leafer wagon but here by the way you can see comparison with my sister's hand but this is a fruit delivery van and kit number is 38044 so it's a a new release with fruits and fruit boxes actually included so it might be interesting diorama set and that's why i decided to take a closer look and of course we have a commercial sample here in the table so you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and it will be interesting to open it and see what is actually supplied inside by the way kit number is 38 044 here on the side you can see some information about the kit so obviously this is not a toy and also some safety advices and address of the manufacturer while on the opposite side you will find three marking options so here is one second and third marking which is uh, also on the box art as you remember but i mean again if you have uh, some references you can replicate something different i always say it because some others, especially the new ones, get confused that they're limited only by the inbox markings. And now we are going to open it and take a closer look at the contents. Because as I said, it's not only the car, there are also various other bonuses. But you can see that packaging is quite standard for mini art kits. We have everything packed into the same plastic bag. And it's a sealed plastic bag. So if it is open, it means somebody was checking spruce before you. So we are going to start with this one. It's uh, quite big, I would say, if not the biggest one in the kit. So here we have uh, various doors. Obviously, rear doors will not be needed because they were designed for use with the saloon and also on the right side you can see some engine parts because we can open the bonnet panels and expose the engine even though I'm not sure it will be a cool idea with this particular version because here it would be more interesting to open the rear doors in order to expose what is inside this van but still you can see a lot of small parts so be ready for this now uh, it will definitely require tweezers because otherwise you will uh, have a quite funny time placing all this stuff in a place you can guess that it will be also easy to lose these parts but molding quality seems to be fine note that even the shock springs are molded out of plastic here you can notice that door cards are molded separately and of course all handles are also separate here we will need only the front doors other parts as i said before will stay because they're not necessary for this particular version but it might be handy for your maybe some future projects some scratch build models or something else by the way inside in the engine parts you can see some guiding elements which will help you with the proper alignment of these parts together and the same basically applies to the door elements as well next we continue with the parts or car body panels for the van version so here you can see the new rear panels which do not feature the second doors that's why i was saying it is different but still as far as i remember we have pretty much the same uh, floor panel if we can call it so and also the frontal part so basically it's a different uh, vehicle from the middle uh, pillar and all other parts are the same i mean the frontal section still it looks quite easy thing to assemble don't be worried with these large parts they still should be fine to work with and i don't think you have any issues with alignment just keep track of it maybe do some dry fitting so that you understand how it goes together and you'll be good to go by the way from the opposite side you can also notice that parts are not plain from the bottom for example and this is a really cool thing and this is, as far as i remember mini art includes quite detailed suspension here so it might be a good idea to expose it somehow maybe uh, again it will depend on your project maybe you just uh, build a car with uh, you know, i would say accent on some interior features here we continue with another base plate so basically i was wrong because this base plate is used for the saloon version and the previous one was completely new for the when but it can be explained because the rear section is made in a bit more plain i would say design here you can also see the main chassis bars which is molded as a single piece part but here by the way you can notice the um, engine or bonnet panels which 
feature is separate house and this hints on possible opening of the engine here you can see this uh, chassis parts which i mentioned before of course you will have to clean it up a bit and be careful while separating it because as you can see connection points are placed between bars the interior should be quite nice of course we won't use the rear seat but front seat will be necessary and we have quite nice dashboard here it features um, decals for dials so it should be pretty much detailed and that's why it won't be a bad idea to open the uh, so cockpit let's say of this car and expose everything inside steering wheel looks gorgeous as well and also bumpers it's really cool thing uh, designed in a i would say quite detailed way so that's why it's a really nice thing to replicate out of the box and Minyard actually succeeded in this. Next we continue with a slightly different sprue because here I will show it in a second well sister will show it in a second here we have wheel parts and these are not vinyl parts these are plastic parts which you should combine together and this is quite a smart design I would say because it makes it easy to assemble and it makes it, uh, I would say, a bit more detailed than a typical vinyl parts. Easier to paint, easier to weather because this is a typical plastic. And of course, we have a bit more features because you know, Mini Art was able to mold something on the tire walls. And the same applies to these seats. As you can see, they are molded as a separate parts. And maybe. I'm not sure if there were any seat belts at that time. I think no, correct me if I'm wrong. So maybe it would be worth replicating some damage on this leather seats, maybe something else. Here, by the way, you can see also various handles for the door cards. And here we can take a closer look at wheels, which look quite nice. Design is also smart because we have rims molded separately. So basically you can paint rims and tires separately and then just join them together. You don't have to worry about various masks or other stuff which is necessary in such case. And usually it is not included in Minyard kits. So that's why it is designed this way so that you won't need any templates. But again, I mean, maybe there will be some aftermarket releases which will actually help you with this. So it's up to you whether you would like to spend more or you would like to try to use the standard feature of this kit. Next, we continue with something what is specific for today's version. It's a fruit boxes. And as you remember, they should be placed on the rear side. I think it would be not that smart to place fruit boxes on the top of the vehicle, but still it's nice that Minyard actually decided to do such combo. Uh, note that there is no figure included, even though it would be cool to see a figure as well, maybe in a standing position, maybe unloading boxes from the rear part so that the whole, I would say, build would look complete. It would be, uh, I would say, uh, seen more realistic from both ends, not only the vehicle, but also some figure. But this box might look familiar to you because we already seen it on the you know, fruit boxes set. And here, by the way, various fruits and vegetables. So everything looks cool. And that's quite funny that they decided to make one level you know, pre-molded fruits as a one single piece part and also separate fruits. And you know, this might be handy maybe to play, play some fruits, maybe in the cockpit, maybe somewhere else. So the final decision again is up to you. But maybe it will be a bit more tricky to paint this one piece parts. But from another side, it will make it easier to install them so that you get a bit more quick assembly, I would say, in comparison with placing each fruit one by one and also painting it one by one. So I guess some others will be happy to see such thing. Next, we continue with more fruits. So here we have bigger ones. It's bananas, watermelons and the watermelons are divided into two halves by the way so be ready for that and bananas i can see they're only in three or four pieces but still it is quite funny thing to add into the kit here you can take a closer look at two same spruce and here you can take even a closer look at these fruits of course it will also depend on the painting quality i would say so be sure to you know, study the real fruits properly and paint them properly, yeah, copy them properly in plastic. Here we continue also with various 
I guess these are oranges and you can see that design is pretty much similar to what we saw before. So we have one piece parts which should be just painted all together. And again, it will simplify the assembly process. So that's why it's so uh, handy and molding quality seems to be nice. Here you can take a closer look. And of course, attachment points are also fine. Just be sure to use maybe the plastic saw in order to carefully separate this stuff. Next, we continue with the clear sprue and decals. They are packed into the same plastic bag. And this is done in order to avoid any possible scratches to clear parts. And clear parts, they look quite nice. As I said, maybe for the windscreen and side windows you will need and these masks which are not included so be ready for that but other than that i mean all clear parts from minior they look fine i just do not understand why they keep avoiding including any templates for clear parts even though this is quite easy task considering that this kit is uh, modeled in 3d as far as i know so it's just a matter of uh, let's say covering these masks templates printing them in the assembly menu and you are good to go decals sheet is printed in decograph as you can see printing quality is quite nice i will remind you that we have three marking options which you will see in assembly manual and here you can take a closer look so by the way i do not see any dials here we have white writings we have also number plates as i said different ones but i do not see any dials for the dashboard in the vehicle next we continue with p parts so maybe here we will get them and this is a typical envelope for P threads from Minyard. It is quite sturdy, it protects from bending. So here we have unpainted P thread. My sister forgot to flip it over because obviously this is the rear side. But still you can understand that here we have a front grille, we have also some parts for steering wheel. So in case you would like to add some fine features, you're covered with this. Uh, assembly manual is typical for mini art. It's a cover printed brochure. We have short list of the features on the cover. We have 12 boxes with fruits. We have three marking options here. We have, by the way, this market card, which we reviewed before. So that's why I said it might be familiar. And here we have also fruit card, which was also reviewed. And again, you can find it on our YouTube channel. Here we continue with two marking options. So profiles are quite detailed and I think it will be easy to understand what you have to do here and there. And of course, this gray vehicle is not as colorful as the green one, which is placed on the box art as well. And that's why I'm not sure who will choose this gray vehicle, but it might be tricky to pick this green color shade. So that's why it will demand some due care, I would say, from you. Next, we continue with the parts map. As usual, Miniart does not show any unused parts. So be careful, especially considering that we have some parts from Saloon here. And obviously, you will have to be careful in order not to get them <laughs> in this vehicle. Assembly process starts with an engine. Straight away, we will be working with some P parts. So be ready for that. Also, you should have your scale. I mean, your metal wire, as you can see, we have scale for... Uh, cutting the exact length which will be installed here and there and this is quite important if you would like to have a nice uh, I would say technical parts included here so here by the way you can see the engine installation on the main chassis and this is quite easy process but still pay attention maybe do some dry fitting as I said before so that you will get everything in a nice uh, overall alignment and it would be uh, problematic then to connect it with this uh, bottom plate let's say of the vehicle next we continue with the uh, windscreen i'm not sure if you will be actually installing you want to install this clear part in advance but who knows maybe you'll find a way to avoid it next we continue with wheels assembly so as you remember we have quite tricky design which will save you some painting time and next we continue with spare wheel installation also we install the special uh, actually separate roof panel and side panels here we continue with 
a rear door which can be assembled in open position and the same applies to these front doors so they can be both open so that you will expose what is inside then we assemble the front grille which will combine plastic and p parts and we proceed with bonnet panels which can be also assembled in open position in order to expose what is hidden inside and this is quite funny thing because we have quite detailed uh, engine bay so that's why it would be a smart idea to expose it somehow next we continue also with the roof as you can see cage which is not used as a treat and for the third marking option so it would be a shame to avoid it so that's why i recommend to pick maybe first two or maybe just to go for the third one with the roof um, cage next we continue with fruits as you can see they are also depicted in, in boxes we can also place some posters inside the vehicle we have quite detailed colors chart in five manufacturer designations so it will be easy to pick the right shade and here you can see third marking option which is based on the poster and as you can see it does not feature any roof railings so again it's up to you whether you would like to go against it and place the railings or maybe you would like to build exactly the same vehicle as depicted on the marking guide anyway i mean this vehicle should be already available you can get it on official model mx web shop of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it in the comment section below and press the like button share with your friends so that they know about this review about our channel i will be glad for this and of course stay tuned for more reviews because there are more novelties from mini art and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching and bye